wonderful. So we're now here in Robinson's Gallery of here in Ortigas Avenue. And I am. So cliche. I see the spot you throw. Katotohanan tungkol sa taong ahas sa Robinson's Galeria, isisiwalat na ni Alice Dixon. Ahas, monster! Mininiwala ko ba dyan? Matapos ang tatlong dekada ng pananahimik, handa na ang aktres na si Alice Dixon na isiwalat ang buo at tunay na kwento sa likod ng urban legend na Taong Ahas sa Robinson's Mall Galeria. Sa post ng aktres sa kanyang Facebook page, sinabi niya na nangako siya sa isang kaibigan na darating ang araw at isuwalat niya ang lahat ng naganap 30 taon na ang nakakaraan. Ikwento ko po sa inyo lahat ng detalye ng naganap nung araw na yon. na maraming taon ay naging tikong ang bibig ng aktres sa nasabing isyo hindi niya pinabulaanan na pinatutuhanan ang lahat ng kumalat at nakatakot na balita noon patungkol sa kanya at sa sinasabing taong ahas Anya, hindi ko gustong buhayin ang chismis that is the farthest from my intention na ko lang linawin ang mga naganap sa Robinson's Galleria noon dalaga pa ako. Dagdag pa niya, yes, three decades na and I've never said a word or explained my side. Isa si Alice sa pinakasikat na aktres noong late 1980s at mas lalo pa siya sumikat nang pumutok ang balita tungkol sa taong ahas na nakatira umano sa basement ng Robinson's Galleria noon. Ayon sa kwento, Nagustuhan si Alice ng taong ahas kung kaya habang nasa loob ito ng fitting room ay inatake siya nito. So balit sa kabutihang palad ay nakatakas ng buhay at ligtas ang aktres. Based sa urban legend, ang taong ahas ay anak ng mag-asawang Wu Kong Wei na siya may-ari ng nasabing mall. Pinayaran umano ng mga Wu Kong Wei ng malaking halaga si Alice Dixon para sa katahimikan nito. Sa ibang usap-usapan naman, ang taong ahas ay kakambal umano ng anak ng mga Gokong Wei na si Robina. Ito ang nagbibigay ng swerte sa nasabing mall kung kaya naging matagumpay ito. Sa ngayon, hinihintay na nang marami ang kwento mula mismo sa bibig na aktres at ito ay mangyayari na ano, mang araw mula ngayon. Totoo nga kaya ang taong ahas o baka isa lamang itong kwintong kotsero sana uuso noong panahon na iyon. What I remember on that particular day was I went to Robinson's Galleria Mall and to the department store para mag-browse ng clothing. It wasn't a special day. In fact, it was like any ordinary day. At pagkatapos kong mamili ng mga damit na gusto ko, inassist ako ng isang sales lady and she directed me to the dressing room. I don't really even recall why I was in Robinson's. Kasi, sa totoo lang nabibilang sa isang kamay yung ilang beses ako nakarating sa mall nung time na yon. Then somebody close to me uh, and even a couple of fans 
said or reminded me that the incident actually took place when I was there on a movie shoot. I remember it actually being night and production told me I need to change my outfit or go into my costume and they directed me to the bathroom sa labas ng department store on the fourth floor para magpalit ng damit. Natatandaan ko pa nga na may mga nag sa labas and for some reason as I was inside the bathroom I said, tuklaw, tuklaw. Now, I don't really know kung bakit ko yun ginawa. Siguro kasi I was just being um, funny. I was trying to get a laugh sa mga kasamahan ko. I, I was just being young and silly. And also because yung time na yun, uh, yung kasamahan ko sa pelikulang Jezebel na si Richard Gomez, he had a movie that that came out called Tuklaw. At uso yan noon. <laughs> a few days later, lumabas yung balita or gossip na kinagat ako or kinain ako ng malaking sawa sa loob ng mall. Lumabas pa ito sa headline ng tabloids and news. And one day or one morning after, my secretary told me na tumawag ang Robinson's representative. Uh, gusto ako kausapin. But I... I believe they, siguro they wanted to ask me um, if I had made these comments and these accusations. But I dismissed it. I dismissed it and I, I went on with my business. However, the news did not die down. In fact, even months after, pag nakakausap ko yung mga Chinese-Filipino friends ko, uh, they were saying na totoo nga, merong offspring na snake, na half-snake ang Gokin Wei. And of course, <laughs> This was usap-usapan lang, right? There was, wala namang prueba to this. This is where I believe the rumor started to build. And I also hypothesized that meron kasing mass communication curriculum ang isang school that it had um, a particular project to disseminate information to see how far how convoluted and how long um, information could spread. And I believe they used this, this story. Um, I know because mass communication graduate in ako and we study these kinds of um, case studies. And my other theory is that My silence created a snowball. Ibig sabihin, uh, perhaps my silence was a contributing factor uh, sa paglaki ng rumor na ito. Uh, but in my defense, even before, kahit ngayon, pag merong hindi totoong rumor, if there's uh, something false that's circulating, naniniwala ko na hindi ko kailangan patulan. I don't have to be defensive about it. That, kaya that was one of my reasons why hindi ako nagkomento noon. And um, I really didn't feel the need to talk about it or defend myself. In fact, nakalimutan ko all about it until um, until Recently, uh, one of my close family friends, uh, meron kaming usapan that after a certain point or pagdating ng certain time, that I would actually reveal my story. Hindi naman revelation, pero to tell my story. 
So, this is the time. This is the time that I want to set things straight. I know a lot of you are going to be saying, Ay, ano ba naman yan? Denial na naman. Um, but the, the truth of the matter is, a denial is something that you say if something is actually true. You deny something that is true. But I'm not denying anything because what I'm saying is that nothing really happened. Nothing really happened in the way that the urban legend or the myth dictates. Kunwari, hindi naman ako nahulog sa trap door. Hindi naman ako um, tumakbo sa corridor palabas ng you know, papuntang hotel. Hindi din naman ako nabayaran ng 850 million at hindi rin nangyari yung nakat yung pagsasalita ko sa isang TV show when I was trying to explain myself. Those things are all not true. The last possible theory is that it is the truth. Right? Pero kaya ba maraming naniniwala because it's just a well hidden secret? Kung totoo nga, bakit walang nag-step forward? Like there's no security guard, there's no maid, there's no close friend, there's nobody who's actually witnessed this aside from this urban legend. There's nobody to corroborate this myth. Diba? Wala. It was rumored a few years ago na namatay ang taong ahas sa mall. Lumabas pa nga ito sa YouTube and sa balita. Pero hindi natin ma-disprove yan or proof. However, kinontak ako ng Robinson's Galleria shortly after to participate in their digital ad campaign. Now, is this a coincidence? Well, kayo na lang po ang bahala mag-decide kung anong paniniwalaan nyo. If it is or if it's not. Basta, sinabi ko na sa inyo yung truth ko. I told you what happened. And hopefully, this is the first and last time I'm going to need to explain myself or say anything about it.